I should have got gas yesterday. It's freezing. It says it's 39 degrees. I don't believe it. It's freezing today. It did push the gas to its limit. For sure. I'll try not to do that again. It's Aldi day and I'm going to meet Courtney at Aldi right now and we're gonna take you shopping with us. So let's go. My goodness, we got some kind of traffic jam going on here. Oh my goodness. Courtney, I'll be there as soon as I can. <laughs> you ready to shop, Courtney? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got right inside the door? We got some furniture, decent prices, I suppose. Some kettlebells exercise stuff. Oh, we have Valentine's. Doormats, $8.99 for those. What's this? What's that thing? Cart and tail. Oh, that's a cat scratching playhouse. Holding utility cart. That's kind of nice. How much is that? 20 bucks? I like this wood blanket ladder. Oh, that is pretty. I got my purse sitting over there. How much is that? 40 bucks, I think. 40 bucks? Oh, it is. Wow. I think I That's might get it. That's a little pricey, but... I thought so, too. It's pretty. And it's not very heavy, either. I think we're going to go look through the sale items first. You want to? Okay. What are those pillows? A luxury decor pillow. $14.99. I don't really like them. Yeah, I don't really like them, either. It feels like they're from, like, hospital. Yeah. They don't they look, feel very nice though. They don't look super oh, they luxurious. Tassels. They have tassels, so <laughs> I guess that makes them luxury. You can tell it's the first of the year. We've got <laughs> all sorts of exercise stuff. I'm kind of interested in this actually. I don't know though, it's 20 bucks. More exercise stuff, exercise ball, little weight set. Ooh, that is a pretty baking dish, $9.79. Look at this baking dish. Isn't it nice? Oh, you need a scraper? Remember when I asked you one for one the other day and you said you don't have an ice scraper? Oh, oh, that's right. When you were at my house at Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah finally, you're getting an ice scraper. <laughs> it's only six bucks, too. That's a nice one with a brush yeah, and everything. Too. Yeah. Do you know how to work it? Well, push the button and start pulling on it and see if it extends. Yeah. That turns the brush, I guess. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yep. Let, oh. let me make sure mine works. That, yeah. That one right there, it doesn't work. Yeah, go make sure it works. Those nice scrapers with a brush are only $5.99. Pretty good. I'm not going to get a Valentine's Day sign. Don't get a Valentine's Day sign. Just come over and we'll go in the craft room and make you one. Yeah. Because I got tons of signs. Pantry organizers. $7.99. Got some planners up here. Oh, there's more gnomes, Courtney. Gnomes for everything. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so I'm looking for a rug for my kitchen. Oh, these say welcome on them, though. That says hello. We are done okay. looking around at the non grocery stuff. And here is, whoa, there's, it is windy in here today. What's the deal? <laughs> Here's my list. Let's see if I can stick to it. All right. Yeah, I don't really need cereal right now, but I'm looking at this. They have, they have this stuff for $1.55. That's really a good price. Well, no. I need some grapes. I have grapes on my list. They're marked down to $1.49 a pound, so. Which ones should I get, Courtney? I guess just these, because that's what they have. Um, they look kind of funny. <laughs> She's not even next to me. <laughs> okay. I need any more veggies. Um, I don't have any more veggies on my list, but I've been really into salads lately. 
$2.69 for the cauliflower. Ooh, that feels rubbery. Feels rubbery. A nice head right there. Does he like cauliflower? He eats it when it's in the cheesy mixture. He does? The cauliflower? Mm -hmm. Will he eat it raw? Does he like broccoli raw? I don't know. Oh, well I know he loves it cooked. Yeah. That's great. I think he does. He's had it where it was cooked but still crunchy. Look, there's more grapes. Yeah, they got lots of grapes. They're all the same kind, though. I do need some onions, though. Here's the onions. I'm out of onions. Okay, yellow onions, 215. Sweet onions, 249. Oh, I see the sweet onions are back here. I think I'll just get the yellow onions. There's specialty breads. Courtney got her favorite. Oh, you got the cinnamon this time? The marbled yeah, cinnamon and yeah. the apple strudel bread. She loves this. It's actually really, really good. How much are those? Um, $4 oh, $4.19. I think they're a little bit cheaper than Costco's. What, Costco has that bread? Um, they have the cinnamon bread, but it's not exactly the same, but it's really good. I need to get bread and buns. They're starting to get busy in here. I'm just gonna get one loaf, $1.29. That went up in price. Oh, that doesn't feel very fresh. Yeah, that eh, well it doesn't feel too bad, I guess. It's all right. It was less than that. I just had it the other day. And it was like 98 cents, I think. Yeah, it definitely went up in price. It's $1.29. Jumping in real quick to say I'm sorry about the choppy video quality right now. I'm new at this GoPro. I must have accidentally changed a setting somehow, but it does get better, I promise. So stick with me. And I need some buns for the weekend because I'm doing um, shredded chicken sandwiches for the get together this weekend. Does that sound good? Yeah. Sounds good. Or See, I can always put them in the freezer if I get too many. They are $1.09. Um, I think I'll get four. And put them in the freezer if we don't use them all. And their Italian bread is $2.19. $3.89 for these look good. Man, those are pricey. I have lunch chips. Oh shoot. Lunch chips on my list. And I was hoping for the Clancy's Aldi brand. But they don't have any dog on it. Huh? Well, I was hoping for the Aldi kind because it's $5.99 for the Aldi's chips, yeah, where it's $10.98 for this kind. I oh guess my. I have to miss out this time. No. Just I gotta get, get into some chips. I did that before, and it's a pain in the neck. It's really convenient to just get these, um, but. Well, I guess it's gonna $10 be convenience tips. Yeah. yeah, but that's really a big, huge difference. I guess I'll get it for $10.98. Don't really want to, but what are you gonna do? They're just like juicy fruits. Oh, the juicy boot yeah. first. Juicy. There's quite what a few fruit snacks. There, there's quite a few. Eight fifty-three. My yeah. goodness, for thirty-six pouches. Yeah. Wow. Right. Everything is so expensive. I'm gonna get chips to go with the sandwiches too. Courtney, what kind do you want? What kind of chips do you like for this weekend? Uh, I, I'll just see regular potato chips. Just plain potato chips? Yeah. $1.99 a bag. Do you like the wavy kind or the like the flat kind? Uh, whatever everybody else eats. I like the wavy ones. Yeah, I think everybody likes the wavy ones. All right, we'll get a couple of those. And I think I'll get one of the cheddar and sour cream. Because... I think that one sounds good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get some cookies for lunches too, to pack in lunches. And I'm just gonna get a package or maybe a couple packages so we can have a different variety and just put it in baggies. What kind should I get? Um, I think I'll do Fudge Stripe for $1.95. And 
$1.89 for these chocolate chips. I think that'll work. We gotta cross some things off here. Got the onions and the grapes, lunch chips, lunch cookies. I got bread and buns, chips. Okay, doing good, doing good. I'm gonna do a charcuterie board this weekend. $2.99 a box for these. Ugh, that's pricey. I think those would be really good though on a char charcuterie board. The Romano and Asia Asiago and Cheddar. I think I'll just get one and I think I'll get this one. Also not on my list, but if you've ever seen one of my Aldi hauls before, you might know that I always pick up a buffalo chicken calzone for Hayden, $2.49 for this. What is it? A peppermint mocha smoothie. That's juice? Coffee? Coffee beverage? Oh, I think it sounds kind of gross. Gross, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought maybe you thought it sounded uh, good. Well, first I was thinking the holiday nog. The I holiday thought that would be nog. good. Those might be good mixed together. Oh, uh, I don't know about that, but hey. You do whatever you need to do. Lots of nice looking cheeses. $9.29 for this. Deli Italian Trio. Hot ham, pepperoni, and provolone cheese. That looks good, but it's a little pricey. Of course, <laughs> isn't everything. How many times am I gonna say that in this video? Just stop saying it, stop saying it. Here is the charcuterie tasting board. All right, $10.99 for that. Cheese curds, $4.49. They have the Cajun cheddar and the white cheddar. Cheese curds? Cheese curds. Do you like cheese curds? They're so good. I've never had them. Do you just eat them or what? Yeah, they're really good. You had them um, breaded at um, Culver's before. Yeah. Yeah. They're good. They squeak. <laughs> they squeak when you chew. Uh, I mean, some cheese. Let's see, I think I'll grab some for the charcuterie board and some for snacking on at home. $1.99 each. Colby. I've got Swiss already at home. I don't know what else to get. Just a couple Colby's. Maybe some pepper jack. We'll grab some cheddar, some mild cheddar. That'll be good. I'm gonna get some provolone, $1.69. That's a pretty good price for that. And some, hopefully they have some turkey. I need turkey and ham. This is kind of I was thinking of. Smoked ham, that's good. Smoked ham, $5.49. And it looks like the turkey is all gone. So I guess this will be okay. $4.19 for the turkey. Courtney got some of these cashew. What are they? They're coconut cashew crisps. Vanilla. Those are actually pretty good. She opened stuff in the store. Uh -huh. I'll pay for it. She's gonna pay for it. Yeah. That's beside the point. They're actually pretty good. $2.99. I think I'm gonna grab some of these for Hayden. The coconut cashew crisps. Yeah, I'll divide those into some little snack baggies and put them in his lunches. Oh, they have the silk almond creamer. It's four dollars and ninety cents here. Is that more than Walmart? Oh, they have the almond. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I always get the Aldi brand because Hayden said it's just as good. Oh, these are like the holiday flavors over here in this section. I do have almond milk on my list though. Unsweetened. Grab a couple of those. Right here? Oh, okay. Just 
kind of checking things out. Pork steaks, how much are theirs? 329 a pound? I don't remember that. John wants some next weekend. clothes in, in the car. Oh, do you? Yeah, I have them with me. I just oh, left them in there. Dollar off on these drumsticks. Hmm. Dollar off. Let's see. They are two ninety or two twenty nine a pound, but these are a dollar off at the register. I might have to grab a couple of these. The guys like those. I don't love them, but the guys do. I'm going to grab them. Actually, I want some plastic bags. Okay, we need to cross some more stuff off here. We got cheeses and uh, we got almond milk. Is that it? I guess so. Oh, they got any more of that, uh, that good butter? The Irish butter? What good butter? Oh, you mean the flavored the butter? Oh, I don't know. That was probably a, like a seasonal thing for the holidays. Um, I need, what's on my list? Sour cream. There it is. Looks, looks a little smashed. Hopefully they have some other ones in there that aren't smashed. <laughs> And these are $1.89 and I will get two. We use plenty of sour cream at home. And I'm gonna get some yogurts. Caden likes those Yo Crunch yogurts, but if he's gonna have cookies and stuff too, I don't, I don't think he needs the Yo Crunch. Okay, we'll go with a couple of blueberry. What's this? A strawberry, peach, cherry, and I was looking for vanilla. Oh, here's well, that's vanilla, but it's light. A great yogurt. Yeah, I was hoping for some vanilla. There is vanilla right here. I know, but it's light. You think um, that'll be all right? Yeah. All right. I'll get it. I guess. Fifty-nine cents each for the yogurts the box. Use it. Let's sit it down here. Oh look Courtney they have they have silk brand yogurt. Almond milk yogurt. Huh. Well Hayden doesn't seem to have any issues when he eats yogurt so yeah it's so much more expensive but I think I'm just gonna go with <laughs> with what we're getting already. Um, right I know. Okay, almond creamer. Don't tell me they don't have any, except for those holiday ones. You see any of the almond creamer over here? Well, shoot. Half and half? I didn't see any half and half. Are you kidding? Those are all over there. Yeah, but the only kind that was over there was the fat free. Oh, wait, you don't drink this? No, I don't want that. How about heavy whipping cream? It's gone. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna run out too. Yeah, I have. have enough for like one more cup of coffee. Eggs, three ninety nine. No, that was that was a different uh, kind. whipping cream. Oh I'm going back over this way to see what they got, I guess. Oh wait, here's some Oh, that's not almond creamer. Oh crud. Well, is this half and half? It's just a different brand? up there oh, I think it I think it is I can't reach it though I, you got this brand, Mom. Oh, I do this is 265 for this half and half that's only $1.99 but I don't want fat free I've tried fat free before uh, and I don't like it 
I tried it on accident actually and realized what's wrong with my Orgato coffee. 369. Where? I don't want that one. That's even more expensive. I know. Good That's Lord, what I woman. said. Hey, you're funny, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll get this 265 one. But I still want some whipping cream, and they are out of that. Where is that other whipping cream that that lady saw had? That lady I know, I saw her with she it. I don't see heavy cream. Oh, here's the almond creamer, caramel and vanilla. I'll get one I of each. I don't like the Aldi brand creamer. This. This one. The anyways, almond. Anyways, these kinds of creamers. I oh, they're like regular. Them. Yeah. Well, the almond creamer is okay. I, I did. You try, did try I did it. Try you tried it. The peppermint one. Yeah, you like that. Okay. Right. I gotta go somewhere else just to get my cream. Okay, I want some crushed tomatoes. Dollar twenty-nine for those. And what else is on my list? Baked beans, rotel, soups, pork and beans. Here we go. What kind of baked beans do you want me to get for this weekend? Uh, brown sugar ones. Brown sugar? Do they have them? Home style. Yep, bacon and brown sugar. Huh? Sorry. The bacon and brown sugar? Yeah. Okay. It's dusty. It's dusty. Alright, we'll get bacon and brown sugar. Dollar seventy nine for that. We'll get two of those. Oh my goodness, look at this. Four ninety nine for this bag. Almond butter filled pretzels. Those sound so good. That's expensive. Oh, I said I wasn't going to say that anymore. Stop saying it. Almond butter filled pretzels. We definitely like the peanut butter filled ones. I think I'm going to try these. $4.99 for this. And this is what happens when I go to Aldi. I always go off my list. Courtney, where's the soup? Oh, I went down the wrong aisle. Oh, I thought it was <laughs> It's the next one over. Okay, we need uh, some cream soup just to have on hand because I've used mine all up. So we're gonna do cream of chicken and cream of mushroom. No, I'm not getting Campbell's. I'm not paying that much for it. So they're also out of their Aldi brand of the cream of mushroom, which is on my list. So we're just gonna do cream of chicken. I'm gonna get six cans because I'm out and that's a staple that I like to keep in my pantry. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's frustrating when they're out of all this stuff. Yeah. It makes me want to go. That's why I said, when you, you said last time you came here, they were kind of wiped out of stuff too. That's why I like to go to the other one, oh, the other wow. town. They're never wiped out. They always have. Now watch, next time I go, I just jinx myself. Okay. Now what can we cross off? Well, let's see. We can cross off baked beans, crushed tomatoes, uh, cream of mushroom they didn't have, cream of chicken. I got the yogurt, sour cream, almond creamer, half and half, and still need Rotel, cream of mushroom, and these I need to get somewhere else. Frosting's on my list, and here it is. And you guessed it, I'm making some more fudge. <laughs> the only reason I'm making more fudge is because um, my daughter and her family are finally coming this weekend for Christmas because they were sick at Christmas time and they didn't get to have any, so I'm going to make some for them. Well, for everybody, but so they can try it. Okay, frosting, got it. And the frosting's $1.36. I think it's actually a little cheaper at Walmart. Should have got there. Oh well, that's fine. It's already in the cart. I should get some marinara. I have pasta, pasta at home and not a whole lot of marinara. And guys, I'm trying to go for um, affordable stuff right now. So, yeah. Marinara traditional pasta sauce. This is the marinara. Here's the traditional. It's $1.45 a jar. Um, okay. Homemade lasagna. Oh, these are good. Get like four jars.
jars of that. All right. And I need some Rotel, which is just the diced tomatoes with green chilies. But it's basically Rotel. It's 85 cents a can. Okay. A couple of those. I want to stock up on this too. Take the box. I almost dropped it. Oops. There we go. <laughs> I'm determined to drop that box. Okay, yep, that's where I'm going next. The only thing left on my list is sausage patties. So we're heading to the frozen. Oh yeah, that coconut shrimp. Yes, you need to get some of that. Okay, I just need the sausage patties, but I am gonna look around because that's what I do at Aldi and I don't feel bad about it. That's three pounds of beef for 10.79, that ain't bad. Yeah, I don't like that kind of beef. I'm just weird about not being able to see it. Oh, well, you can see it when you take it out. Yeah, when you take it out after you already bought it and opened it. Yes. Next weekend, John's going to be loading for his HCG round, fat loading. And he wants, that's what he wants the pork steaks for next weekend. And he also wants french fries. Oh, season, oh, there they are, season fries. I'm going to go ahead and grab those for $2.49 while I'm here. And yes, I'm getting two because if I make them for every, I'll make them for everybody when I make them. All right, she's looking for coconut shrimp. I would think it would be over here. There's breaded cod. There's some kind of shrimp, but there's a bunch of shrimp over here, but I don't see the coconut. Maybe that's chicken then. Huh. They're out of some stuff today. Oh, wait, what's that back there? Oh, that's just butterfly shrimp. Okay. Yep, here it is, Courtney. Here it is, Courtney. Yep, it was just hiding. Four forty-nine for the twenty-four ounce broccoli or cauliflower and cheese bake. I actually made that once, and I didn't really care for it. I would rather just have plain and put my own cheese on. So, well, that's just me, I guess. Don't need any of that. I actually have some Brussels sprouts from Costco that I forgot about in my freezer. I'm gonna be making those. I do want some green beans, though. Get some of these. Two nineteen for these. I want some sesame oil with those green beans. I totally forgot to put that on my list. Of course, the green beans aren't on my list either, so there's that. Don't tell me they don't have any sausage patties. Oh, ho, ho, yeah, there they are. $8.69 for 18 sausage patties. Make sure I don't get the maple. Okay. Here's some of their clearance items. I was just looking at the sweet potato fries. $3.99. Yeah, open it up. Let's grab them. They look good. I love sweet potato fries. Yes. I do too. I haven't had them in a long time. $3.25. That was squeaky. $3.25 for soft pretzels. That's not too bad. That could be a nice snack for everybody for the weekend. And then they have pretzel sticks. Huh. I'm gonna grab some of this. Chicken cordon bleu. Harvest grain bowls. Southwest. Acai bowls. I always want to try one of those, but I don't know. I'm gonna try to. $2.99. I don't want to try it that bad. And let's see. Cool Whip is only 75 cents. I'm going to throw a couple of those. Wow, those are squeaky. I'm going to throw a couple of those in my freezer. I'm going to go look for some sesame oil. Do you have sesame oil? No. We only carry it as a special one now and then. Okay, thank okay. you. Another one of the girls heard me ask for the sesame oil. She said they didn't have any. But they do. She said, no, actually, actually we do. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, Tahin. I just opened the 
back up tahine. So we'll grab another one of those. This is just a smaller bottle, 249. I usually get a bigger one than this, but this is perfectly fine. Okay. And that's why I walked down here because I wanted to see the price. And the price is actually $8.99 for this. For the sesame oil. Goodness gracious. I'm looking for sesame seeds now. I don't see any. Oh well. Don't have to have them, but kinda wanted some. Hey guys, I'm just popping in real quick to say, I'm just sitting down to edit a video, the one you're watching, and I'm realizing, where is my clips, from the last couple of clips? I don't see them anywhere. So some things are recorded on my GoPro and some things are recorded on, from, on my phone. And I don't see them on either device. I'm pretty sure they should have been on my phone. I don't know if I accidentally deleted them or what, but hey, I ended up going to Walmart to pick up the last few things that Aldi didn't have. Heavy whipping cream, gosh, what else did I get? I guess I just got heavy whipping cream, milk, eggs, and I also picked up some sesame oil, or no, sesame seeds, and uh, oh, the other thing was the cream of mushroom soup, but I didn't end up getting any of that, because that's just a stock at my pantry. I'll get that next time I go to Aldi, I'll look and see if they have it, but anyway, yeah, so Courtney and I had a pretty good day shopping, and that was it. That was all we did, <laughs> so thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you the next one.